Hey, this is the CMG channel. I'm Chris, and this is MMA for you. I'm just going to do my post fight analysis for UFC Fight Night 24 uh, with the main event of Phil Davis versus Rogerio Nogueira. Uh, but before we get into that, I'd like to thank our sponsors, uh, GoBusiness123.com and uh, Laguna Beach's DeMarca Sunglasses Boutique. Let's get right to it. I'm going to start from the undercard and go to the uh, main card. Uh, but before we do anything, I want to say one thing. Phil Davis is not John Jones. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Nine fights in, John Jones was fighting either Andre Guzmao or Stephen Bonner. Nine fights in, Phil Davis is fighting Rogerio Noguera. It's different. Okay, a lot of people are like, oh man, he's not going to be a challenge for him. John Jones and Phil Davis are not the same guy. Please, 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 you know, get who's ever thinking like, oh, he needs to challenge him soon, you know, or like, he's not good enough for Jones. No, he's not, okay? So let's get started. Okay, Nick Lentz beat uh, Waylon Lowe by a come from behind Vic, uh, guillotine choke. That makes Nick Lentz 5 and 0 in the oh, 5 0 and 1 in the UFC. He needs to step up in competition pretty bad. There's a couple uh, WEC imports I think he could fight. Uh, he he needs like a Facebook prelim. I, he he has a really bad rep though right now uh, with the Tyson Griffin fight, the Andre Winter fight, and whatnot. Um, Maybe he can fight like a Cole Miller or someone. Just uh, someone higher up the card. He does need to get some sort of exposure now. I mean, even though he's he, he has this really bad rap, um, he's winning fights, you know, um, and that's the thing. Man, you know, he's, he's a bottom rung type of guy. I think he's like win loss, win loss in DFC. He's gonna fight more bottom bottom rung guys, or maybe even get cut. I mean, lightweight division is very very big and they need to cut a lot of fighters. Okay, next fight after that is Aaron Simpson beat Mario, Mario Miranda by unanimous decision. Good win for Simpson. He utilizes wrestling to win this one. I think Miranda's going to get cut. Simpson's got to go back to the drawing board in a way. He, he can beat the lower level guys. He beat like Tom Waller, lost to Lieben, lost to Munoz. So uh, he, he's going to have to fight like a Sakara or something like that. Oh, Sakara just lost. Maybe they can use him to for a guy like Chris Weedman if they want to give him a prospect. I, I don't see too much upside in Simpson besides being like a mid-tier gatekeeper type guy at this point in time. After that, Johnny Hendricks got knocked out of the night over TJ Wahlberger. Good for Hendricks. Just came off a lot. Before that, he lost to Rick Story, and now he just has a big win. It's kind of small for the weight class. I kind of want to see him cut the lightweight, to be perfectly honest with you. But uh, I'd say give him like a mid-tier guy, maybe like uh, Brian Foster, uh, I, unless they already fought. Um, Rory McDonald would be pretty cool. Um, just someone up there, not not a top ten guy. He beat Amir Sadala, who, who won on the main card, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, uh, with Wahlberger, I don't know where he goes. Actually, he's really young. He's like 22, so. Um, you know, he, he still has a bright future. He had a really good fight with Hendrix. And Christian World of Warcraft just beat Sean Big, Big, uh, beat Sean Big Sexy McCorkle by a technical submission. Warcraft, uh, you know, he lost to Struve. I think he should fight some more lower level guys. I don't know if Hag's still, still around or Beltran. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, maybe Warcraft Mitrion because I know they want to feed Mitrion some like lower guys. You know, I think he should go up in competition. Maybe give him Rothwell if you want to give Rothwell some comeback fight. I think McCorkle should be cut, to be perfectly honest. And that's all i got to say about that. Um, next fight after that is actually the fight of the night. As Michael McDonald beat uh, Edwin Figueroa by UD. Uh, McDonald is a highly touted prospect in that division. Um, I think he should have a step up in competition by now. Someone was... Uh, I can't really think of it, too many names in the bantamweight. I think he's bantamweight, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, he beat like Clint Godfrey and whatnot. Now he just beat Figueroa. It, it, you know, you got to give him someone that people kind of know now. You know, that's 
probably see it. Maybe like a, I don't know if Fabiano's still around. Or, um, the guy from American Top Team. That was pretty good. I forgot his name at the moment. Figueroa, you know, first loss in the UFC. He came in on short, short notice. I expect him to get another fight after this. And uh, next fight after that, John Hathaway just got a split decision win over Chris McRae. McRae is probably going to get cut from the division. Hathaway, honestly, uh, I just read this really good, um, like, analysis that he's fighting here, Sadala. I think that's actually a good fit right there. Um, Hathaway is still a prospect, even though he lost to Mike Pyle. Um, but Hathaway versus uh, Sadala, who's coming off a, a win streak of his own, I think would be a good, uh, good match. And Mack and Semizer beat uh, Bruce, uh, Bruce Leroy, uh, Alex Caceres, by uh, Rear Naked Choke. Uh, Semizer's a good fighter. Um, I mean, he, he has a he was coming off a three-fight losing streak, but he was always a good fighter. I mean, that's the thing. The Cub Swanson fight really showed that. Uh, when he beat Fabiano, obviously, uh, he showed uh, some good skill there. He's pretty strong for his weight class. Um, Build him back up. Um, I believe he fights, they fight at 145. Maybe give him Nam. Nam versus Semizer would be pretty cool. I would like that. Um, Semizer versus uh, Korean Zombie would be pretty cool too. I kind of want to see that fight actually. Um, Semizer Roop, maybe. Uh, Root, winner of Root versus um, that one kid at, whose name uh, escapes me um, at the moment. Grispy um, would be pretty interesting as well. Uh, Mike Russo got a TKO doctor stoppage on uh, John Manson. I uh, don't know what to say about Russo. He's kind of old. He's like in his mid 30s. I mean, he has a like, come from behind victory over Todd Duffy. And now has this uh, victory over Manson, who's actually was quietly getting uh, his own win streak until this fight. Uh, yeah, it's not the same. Maybe, maybe you give Russo uh, Christian Warcraft or. If you want to give Russo like Stefan Struve or something like that, I can see that. It's tough to say. I think no farther than mid tier. Russo and Mitri Allen would be pretty cool. Manson's still a prospect in the division. I think he needs to lose some weight. I mean, both those guys need to lose some serious weight. Um, tough to say where he goes. Uh, if you want to give Manson Warcraft or like Struve or something like that, do that. It's tough to say. There aren't too many like lower level heavyweights out there. There's Haig, Beltran, you know, guys like that. It's a really small pool of just like lower level guys. Hunt, okay, Mark Hunt, Mike Russo would be pretty cool actually. Uh, maybe something like that too. Yep. And now uh, for the main card, uh, the Korean Zombie Chang Sung Jung beat uh, Leonard Bad Boy Garcia by Twister by the very first Twister in the UFC. Thank God. <laughs> you know, I mean, the way that Garcia wins a split decision, man, it's just well deserved. Well deserved. And also, um, you know, there's one minute left in the in that round, so it was good. He won. Chang Sung Jung. I do want to see him get Semizer. I think that'd be a good fight. Uh, bad boy. There's just a lot of guys he can fight. The Nam fight sounds pretty cool. If you want to give him Semizer or uh, Bruce Leroy. Uh, you can give uh, Garcia him as well. Okay. And then after that, uh, Amir Sadala beat uh, Demarcus Johnson. Uh, this fight's really interesting to me just because Sadala's really good. And he's lost to Hendrix. He's lost to Stun Gun. But he looks good against the lower tier opposition. When he fights a guy like a Baroni, Blackburn. You know, um, Demarcus Johnson. He looks really good, which really shows me you don't want to give him like a James Wilkes or something like that who is supposed to find him or a Ludwig just because I'm getting this impression more and more. He beats those guys, and there's no reason to give him those guys anymore. You know, you got it. He's got to move up in competition, but not too high. Maybe Nate Diaz, that's pretty high as it is. Or you get McDonald, Brian Foster would be pretty cool. Um, oh, um, Matt Brown would be really cool too. I like that fight a lot, actually. I think they were originally supposed to fight one time. Um, and that'd be kind of a rematch from Ultimate Fighter. Uh, Demarcus, I just find him as a lower tier type fighter. Stand up's just alright. His ground game is actually his biggest strength, but, you know, I, I never saw too much in him. I, I just see him fight lower, lower tier fighters. 
after this. Um, and then we had the co-main event as Anthony Rumble Johnson uh, gave Dan the Outlaw Hardy his third loss. Not a fan of Dan Hardy. I'm actually, uh, I, I'm not so much as I used to. Uh, you know, the guy who keeps losing. He, I can't really hate a guy who keeps losing. It, it's just there's no point uh, for me to do that. Hardy needs to work on his wrestling. I don't think he'll be cut. He's definitely a UFC poster boy for uh, the UK. Um, and you know, he has a, he has a big mouth. He has some name value now, despite losing. Um, but yeah, he's you got to give him someone who stands and bangs with him. Maybe Apollo Tiago would be pretty interesting. I'd like to see maybe a, uh, maybe Martin Campman. Um, if you want to go someone lower, someone who just came off a loss, wouldn't it be too bad? You know, Matt Hardy, TJ Wahlberger or something. Uh, something like that. Um, something like that. Maybe you want to give him to Hathaway. Uh, I don't know. Carl Maida would be uh, kind of interesting for Hathaway. There's a, there's a lot of welterweights out there, and there's a lot of welterweights that, have, that uh, Hardy can fight. Um, I don't. I just don't think he should get on more upper tier, even like kind of on the cusp type guys. Because Anthony Johnson, like his only loss in a while was to Kaz Jack. So he, you know, he's like on the cusp type guy. Um, I like some things with Anthony Johnson here that I saw. I like that he used wrestling in this fight. He could have stood. He, he honestly could have just stood and banged. But um, it's you know, hey, it worked. He's also huge for his weight class. And you know what? It's one of his advantages. You know, it's no different from a, a lot of other weight classes. Use it. You know, hey, superior wrestling. Use it. Hey, in the third round, the uh, Anthony Johnson was using some Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Good for him. Taking the back, going for a rear naked choke, going for an arm triangle. He has a weakness in Jiu-Jitsu. <laughs> so I mean, it's good. He's using offensive Jiu-Jitsu, um, especially for if he continues to wrestle. That would be a really good uh, thing for him to have. His hands are still really good. It's tough to say where he goes. I think he should fight more upper echelon type guys, to be honest. Uh, maybe he can fight Hathaway, even though he's not upper echelon. Mike Pyle would be pretty interesting, actually. Um, so there's some good fights for um, Johnson. I, I think this fight actually... Some people look down on him for not, like, you know, standing and banging. But I, I'm of the opinion, dude, the guy was all on a one year layoff, you know, and I, you know, it, there's always a criticism with wrestlers when they don't use their wrestling, you know, like the Prince of Persia, you know, um, dude, what's his name, he just fought, the guy who just fought Jim Miller and lost, you know, I, guys like that shirk for a while, you know, so it's kind of like, good he uses wrestling, you know, why not use it, you know, you're here to win. You know, I, I, I don't think he should apologize for anything. Um, but, yeah, there's some some guys who fight. Maybe the winner of Alva's story, even. Um, that would be pretty interesting, actually. Uh, Alva's story sounds pretty good. Um, the winner of that gets uh, Anthony Ronald Johnson. Okay, uh, main event. Uh, Phil Davis beat uh, Antonio Rogerio uh, Minotaro Noguera. Um, Noguero looked really good in that first round. I thought he had the first round. I thought he stuck to takedowns. I thought he clipped Anthony, uh, Phil Davis on the feet. So, um, yeah. Uh, I think that he got the first round. I just think that the superior wrestling of Davis got the second and third round. Davis needs to work on his striking. Um, good adjustment by Davis from going from double legs, uh, which weren't working, to single leg takedowns that were working. Uh, I was really impressed with that. He needs to work. He likes kicks, which is fine because he has long legs. However, he can't do. He does a lot of. He did it in Timbo's fight where he was setting, doing body kicks with no setup. He doesn't set to the side when he does it. Um, he was good at avoiding the power punches of Noguera around the second and third round, and I like that as well. Um, he wasn't getting clipped as much. You know, he's just kind of getting out of the way. Oh, which is good for him. Needs to work on his stand up, his hands. I'd like to see him use a jab more. He did have a reach advantage. Use a jab more. He's 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 a lot different from John Jones, where John Jones has spinning moves and a lot of crazy stuff. Uh, Phil Davis works more towards fundamentals, which honestly comes off more GSP ish than than say Anderson Silva. You know, um, that's how I kind of see it. 
Um, with Nogueira, there's a lot, you know, two fight losing streak. Don't give this guy any more wrestlers. You know, Brills, Bader, Davis. Don't give this guy any more wrestlers. No point. Renew, you know, let him fight Rampage. There's other guys. Let him fight upper tier guys, though. Upper tier guys are fine. But, um, no more wrestlers for him. Rampage would be cool. Uh, don't give him Hamill or Tease, you know. Maybe Vera would be pretty cool. Vera versus Nogueira would be pretty cool. Tiro Silva versus Nogueira would be pretty cool as well. Um, as far as Davis goes, tough to say. This is a big win for him. He didn't look, he didn't, he looked good, but not great. Um, but he, but now he's at a point where he has to fight over two guys. Where he, I don't know if he's quite ready for it or not. It's tough to say. Um, you know, there's Machida versus Randy. Give him something like Randy would be really interesting. Uh, give him Randy Couture just because if you want to build this guy up, give him a name. That's what you do. Names mean a lot more than a guy with a lot of skill sometimes. You know, just as far as career progression goes. Um, but yeah, it's really tough to say. I don't really know who he should fight now. He's kind of broken through a little. Um, so yeah, uh, that's it for UFC Fight Night 24. Uh, uh, once again, I'd like to thank our sponsor, GoBusiness123.com, and the Marcus Sunglasses Boutique. Okay, uh, got that. Cool. And um, yeah, I'll be doing uh, a now you know prediction for the new, for Strike Force and the UFC that's coming up this uh, later this month. So yeah, that's it. I'm Chris, and this is it for MMA for you. Thank you very much.